After being redshirted last year, Australian Corey Jeffs has become a key part of this year's Warrior men's basketball team. Coach Mike Leaf explains how Jeffs eventually found his way to Winona from halfway around the world. Yeah, actually, it was uh, Zach Melvick. And I'll tell you how it was uh, Zach Melvick's godfather, Rod Pop, who used to, uh, he used to coach actually at Viterbo University. And uh, he's been over there for, my gosh, I want to say maybe 17 years now. And he was over there when Zach Melvick went over to play professionally in Australia. Uh, he was in Melbourne. Uh, and he was helping Rod uh, with their younger kids. And one of them happened to be Corey. Coach Melvick um, was playing professionally for the association I played with back home. And um, he coached me in an under-20 under team. And that's how kind of the connection started. And then, and then Coach Malvik obviously went, he'd come back here to do his, his coaching thing and um, talked to Coach Leaf about me. And I think it was my senior, my senior year, Coach finally saw some footage of me on YouTube and Zach had been in his ear about me, this Australian kid. And then I guess that's how it started. Thanks to Zach, I wouldn't be here. Before basketball, I was a big, uh, in, in Australia we play football, Australian rules football, so I was a big, we call it footy, so I was a big footy player. I played a lot of cricket and some other sports, some Australian kind of backyard sports. But I didn't pick up basketball till junior year, started junior year of high school, was when I started playing competitively. And I just like, I, I loved the game and I worked hard at it, so I felt like I, go, I could go places. But other than that, I didn't really consider basketball for a while. So I kind of picked it up fairly late. From what I hear, he just uh, you know climbed up the ladder very very quickly because of his skill level, and uh, he just bleeds the game, just absolutely loves it. And uh, you know, like he and his folks had said, uh, you know, this was just a great opportunity for him. And uh, um, you know, really glad to have him on board. He's he's quite the young man. Corey Jeffs was a redshirt last season, meaning he was a part of the team, could practice and travel, but was not allowed to play in games. How tough was that on Coach Leaf and on Corey? He had a tough time with it at first, as most uh, most players do. But you have to look at it from a standpoint as is most ki most kids will be in school for about 4.8 years. That's the average. And you know, if you're going to be here for that extra year, why why, why not play ball? Well, if you're going to play your first year and play a lot of minutes, well, you got to take that into account. But we knew Corey was a little raw, and that it was going to take some time. So it was one of those things where, hey, why waste that year of sitting on a bench when you can, uh, you, know, you know, maybe get in there for a few minutes? minutes when you can really learn the trade and uh, you know he found out right away it's a much more physical here than on Australia and so there's a lot of learning curve for him so I, he knows it and I you know it's the best thing that we did. It was very difficult I mean I feel like it's difficult for every player that red shirts if you love the game of basketball it should be difficult to sit and watch when you know you could be playing um, but coming from a different country it was a bit more difficult because there was no one else red shirting with me so I was like, the, the, the lone red shirt and I felt like I come across like halfway across the world for a purpose to play basketball and I wasn't exactly serving my purpose. How does Coach Leaf plan to use Jeffs this season? You know, he could pop into the starting lineup at any time, but right now getting into the game and, and knocking down threes, and that's going to be a big part of it. Both he and uh, Tim Wagner can really spread the court out, um, but his ability is to take the ball to the basket as well then. And then, and you know, he's, he's a good 6'6", and, uh, you know, with shoes on a little bigger than that, so we expect him to get tip-outs and rebounds, and that's when he's really been working on, and that strength part comes into play. It's just not totally there yet, but he's, he's not afraid to mix it up, whereas a year ago he was. So to be able to mix it up in there and, and help us get some boards. What did Jeffs know about the United States and about Minnesota before he came here to play? The only thing I really knew about Minnesota was probably the Timberwolves. <laughs> yeah, that's really the only thing I know, and probably the Lynx, I'm pretty sure the, the women's team's called. Um, and I knew it, I knew it snowed. Uh, that's all I knew. I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend anyone, but that's all I knew. <laughs> There's like snow in the mountains, but I never usually travel to the mountains. Usually the temperature in the winter is like, I'd say 45 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. So obviously not really comparable to the winter here, because last winter was shocking. So seeing snow for the first time was uh, quite a fright. <laughs> Didn't really uh, adapt well at first, but it, it grows on you. You have no other option. <laughs> I love the United States, it's a great country. And Minnesota is a, a great part of the earth, I, which I never would have expected considering it's so cold and I'm not a fan of the cold, but people are really friendly here. Once you get past the weather factor, it's really not a big deal and it's a great country, so you never know what the future holds. You can catch Jeffs and the Warrior men's basketball team on HBC 25 this Friday night against Concordia St. Paul and again on Saturday against Minnesota State. 
Tip-off for men's games are slated at 8 o'clock p.m. Our HBC coverage begins with the Warrior women's games at 6 o'clock both evenings. Pre-game both nights is at 545 here on Channel 25.